Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. I've been a part of the XRP community and an XRP holder since November of 2017. Throughout that time, I've never seen an exchange act like this before. In addition, as of the time this video was recorded, they had not explained why they were doing these actions or how they planned to ensure that the money they had amassed would be distributed to their clients. Also, double check that. Read today's crypto basic news story here. Over 85,000 XRP wallets were deleted by Poloniex, and a new wallet was created with 1.5 million XRP. Poloniex is a significant cryptocurrency exchange, and that's what we're discussing here. I'm guessing most of you have heard of it. I've never used them, but apparently they recently cancelled a large number of XRP accounts and, for reasons I'll explain, amassed 1.5 million XRP in a single wallet. Furthermore, I am extremely skeptical of the legitimacy of their actions. Indeed, I do. But I do want to clarify something before we go any further. I come from a completely monetary background-free background. Nothing I say or write should be taken as recommendations to purchase or sell any security. Just a hobbyist here that occasionally posts films to YouTube on various crypto-related topics. Okay, well, have a look at this. Over 85,000 XRP wallet accounts have been cancelled by Poloniex in its account termination spree. Over the course of four days, Poloniex removed over 85,000 XRP ledger addresses raising alarm among community members. Several members of the XRP community have been impacted by the latest exercise, which has resulted in Poloniex acquiring 1.55 million XRP from the accounts cancelled and burning 171,000 plus XRP. One of the people impacted by the change is Eddie, a key figure in the XRP community. In light of a recent deletion that negatively impacted her finances, the popular YouTuber resorted to Twitter to express her concerns. The relevant tweet is currently shown on your screen. She did mention Poloniex in her post and it reads as follows. When asked, she simply penned the word question Poloniex on June 15, you moved some of my XRP from a reserve wallet I created in 2017 to your new wallet. On June 14, your purse strings grew. They've added 1.5 million XRP to that. Can you actually do that? Please correct me if I'm incorrect. Because, as you probably well know, most crypto media was created by a group of C students, it contains numerous inaccuracies. In order to provide you with actual facts, I ran a quick Google search to locate relevant web pages. But when I first started using XRP in 2017, a minimum deposit of 20 XRP was required to open a new address or wallet. This reserve requirement has since been removed. At the rate the XRP ledger was going, you'd never be able to get rid of those 20 XRP. It couldn't move from that spot. We didn't want someone to be able to spam the XRP ledger without incurring any costs, which is one of several reasons why this was done. To begin using the XRP ledger, simply publish some information. That's basically the reasoning behind it. It's similar to how a small amount of XRP is burned each time a transaction is made in order to deter distributed denial of service DDoS, attacks. So it's. I'm not denying the existence of such features, nevertheless, the reserve amount was 20 XRP in 2017 when I first became involved in the cryptocurrency market, and has been unchanged since then. The agreement stopped there. Accounts also could not be removed at that time. At the time, removing accounts was an impossibility. Things have altered significantly in the last few years. After validators cast their ballots, a new amendment was enacted, allowing for the immediate deletion of user accounts. The original reserve amount of 20 XRP has been reduced to 10 XRP. This is the XRP org website, where the following was published. In the course of, uh, the. The date is September 21st, 2021, by the way. Thus, roughly two years ago. Indeed, they put pen to paper as the price of XRP has steadily risen over the past year, many in the XRP ledger community have called for a reduction in the network's reserve requirements. 
A majority of validators agreed that the revised reserve values should take effect on September 19, 2021, and so they did. Prior reserve levels of 20 XRP base for an account and 5 XRP per object owned in the ledger have been reduced to 10 XRP base and 2 XRP per object, respectively. Per object zone discussions inevitably lead to discussions of trust boundaries. And it's clear that due to the inherent character of the blockchain record of XRP, tokenization is possible, although it's not that useful. The 10 XRP now required to open an account is far more important than the original 20 that were required. The following is also mentioned by them. As a result, this has a beneficial effect. This prompted them to pen the following. Reserved XRP has been released and can be spent. Accounts having a minimum balance of 20 XRP can now withdraw the extra 10 XRP because the base reserve requirement has dropped from 20 to 10. As a result, space opened up. Let's pretend you left $20 in an abandoned account, knowing that the sum will remain there indefinitely. That, however, is no longer the case, thanks to this revision. That implies you can retrieve the 10 XRP from the account where you originally deposited them. But there's more, as I mentioned before, you can now permanently close your XRP account. As a result of one of my quick Google searches, I present the following web page. Earlier than I started filming this, actually. Simply put, I was trying to find reputable online resources that would immediately provide this information so that I could display it on the screen for you. In Walked Ledger. This is, thus, something akin to a FAQ. How about returning my 10 XRP balance? The correct response is yes. If you delete your XRP account, you can recover some of your reserve. Currently, the fee to cancel an account is 2 XRP. As a result, not only did the reserve shrink, but there was also a policy shift that made it possible to close the account entirely. There is now a cost. 2 XRP are spent, but the remaining 8 are returned. That's at least a little. So, you had this piece of crypto writing sent your way, and while I appreciate the crypto basics, they messed up here. Here and in this brand new article, they claim that the reserve amount is 20x or p, hence, I will not bother addressing the entire section of the article, as it is horribly inaccurate. And I wanted to correct some misinformation about that. Still, I can understand why Poloniex is taking these steps. There it is, all the XRP that couldn't leave the reserve. It doesn't matter if there were only 10x or p in each of those accounts, you'd be stuck with them until you deleted the account, at which point you'd gain access to all of the XRP that had been imprisoned in them. Now you see why Poloniex took this action. In order for them to get all of this XRP. But hold on a second, that can't be their XRP, right? Customers didn't buy XRP from them, did they? I don't know what the legal ramifications of not providing information to customers are, or if there are any caveats that would allow them to avoid doing so, but I hope they do. So, allow me to descend a little more. So, let's get started. The current account cancellation spree was originally noticed by Thomas Silk Jr., head of analytics and compliance at the XRP Foundation. After four days, on June 18, Silk Jr. confirmed that all 85,566 accounts had been removed. And look at his tweets right here, he added. Poloniex verify that users exchange accounts will get the recouped cash following account deletion. A tiny happy face is inserted at the end. It appears to be over, he says. 85.566 out of 1,553,159 accounts were removed. Took back 171,132. XRP was destroyed. This time, two XRP are needed to permanently remove an account. That means they had a huge number of accounts. What is Poloniex doing with all this information? You, my fellow YouTuber, can now understand why she tweeted the thing she did. Right? Should we believe you? My XRP from 2017, when the reserve was 20 and accounts couldn't be deleted, is clearly yours to keep. 
Since the reserve reserve has recently decreased in value, you can probably withdraw the difference there, terminate the account, and withdraw the remaining balance. Like that really sounds sketchy and icky to me. So I guess I'll just wait a bit to see if they make any sort of official announcement. No fish were caught during the making of this film. If anything does come out soon, I'd be happy to talk about this again. I'm going to wait judgment to an extent, but I will say that this gives me serious cause for suspicion and anxiety. If their plan all along was to keep this XRP for themselves, I don't see how that's ethically acceptable, so hopefully they'll get it to their consumers and credit their customer accounts here. I'd be interested to hear the opinion of a lawyer on whether or not this qualifies as a kosher product from a legal standpoint. You should probably read the fine print in the terms of service. And then there's the issue of jurisdiction and all that. Since I'm not a lawyer, I'll have to sit this one out. The question I have is whether or not this is what you want to do to the XRP community even if it is legal. Because I don't believe it will go over well with the locals. What I mean to say is. I want to make a point here. I shall thus inform you. In any case, I assume Poloniex will provide an answer to this question eventually. I think our community will have something to say if they don't like the fact that they aren't answering or are acting as if nothing is occurring. Wow, isn't that crazy? This is unlike anything else I've ever seen. This is completely insane. What a bizarre result of validators voting to update the XRP ledger. I'm not saying the adjustments are a bad idea. Simply put, Poloniex has the right to make whatever decisions they see fit. For the time being, though, I think I'll end this. No, I don't give out financial advice. My words here should not be used as a basis for making any financial transactions. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later, bye.